Bethany, derived from the Hebrew Aramaic words Bet Anya, house of the poor, and was the old leper colony for Jerusalem. Here in Arabic, as Elazaria, mean the town of Lazarus, where he lived with his siblings Mary and Martha. Galilean pilgrims would lodge here en route from the king's highway in the east and coming through the Judean wilderness up to the holy city of Jerusalem. Beth is almost two miles from Jerusalem on the Mount of Olives' southeastern slope and not visible from the temple. The Essene temple scroll describes anything visibly unclean must be beyond 3,000 cubits, being approximately a mile plus from Jerusalem, and out of sight from the temple. Jesus left Jerusalem, lodging in Bethany, and returned, as Matthew 21.17 relates. Jesus is known and honoured in Bethany, where a woman in the home of Simon the leper anointed Jesus' head with pure nard. But Mark 14.1-9 doesn't say who. Then an outburst of disapproval comes, saying the anointment could have been sold and the money given to the poor. Is this referring to the poorhouse? Mark doesn't disclose who did the anointing. The names can be found in John's Gospel, chapters 11 and 12, where Lazarus of Bethany lay sick. Jesus told Martha and Mary, who had previously anointed his head with pure nard, that he would not die. But he does, and many came to console them. Jesus waits two days before returning, being greeted by Martha, who is usually about her chores, and he raises Lazarus. Lazarus is seen again after his resurrection at the supper in the Simon the leper's home with Martha serving, Mary again anointing his head, and Judas Iscariot indignantly saying the money could have been given to the poor. A modern Franciscan church over an old house is shown, and a tomb with an outer weeping chamber and an inner burial site. This is Malcolm in the Promised Land, 1 Corinthians 16.22 greets in Aramaic, Maranatha, Maranatha, yes Maranatha tours can take you there, and a John 1.29 invites, come and see.